from this, Dimitri. Now, this right here is a uh, a news or an article that obviously you see on my Facebook page. Now, this came out a couple of days ago, and I'm just now getting around to it. Now, in this picture, you have this gentleman in the foreground. Uh, it goes by the name of Garris Hilton. Uh, that's his Facebook name. Uh, he's since then taken it down because of the shit that's happened with this story. His real name is uh, Jared Roth. Uh, he works for a Polaris Marketing Group in Atlanta, or he did. Uh, his co-workers, her son in the background, his name is Caden. He comes in, and he's about three years old, but he comes into the place of business every day. And it just so happened that Roth takes a picture of this young child, and all of a sudden he posts it on his Facebook feed, and suddenly um, all of his friends start making derogatory and racist comments about this young child. Now consider this. You have people sitting here targeting a three-year-old child, a black child, and that just lets you know how fucked up we are as a nation. Some people will scream and contest that racism doesn't exist. But how fucked up can this nation be when a three-year-old child is targeted? This young man can't defend himself. He certainly didn't do anything to deserve this. And it's also a double whammy because this gentleman posted a picture of this child, someone else's child, without permission. So he deserves to get his ass kicked for that. Now, when you're looking closer, you see some of the comments that people are saying. Now, with this, what's ironic is you have this gentleman here, Tim Zhang, he's Chinese. He makes a couple of comments as though he's got a pot to piss in. And of course, you know, the rest of the comments are from white people. And that's the really sad part. You have these adults talking about this young kid. Oh, and of course, you have this gentleman right here, Gabe Guzman, uh, Mexican or Hispanic. And you know what the state of the country and what Donald Trump is trying to do. Uh, this motherfucker right here has absolutely shit to say. Unless he's whitewashed or he thinks that he's the exception because of his last name. The casual racist will hear that last name and they'll assume the worst of him because of that. But for him to make the kind of comments, it makes him look like a bigger asshole. And then of course you have this gentleman here. He posts this uh, picture, Little Sambo, which is another derogatory term for nigger. So it's just unfortunate that people have to make themselves feel good by putting down a young three-year-old black kid. Now, of course, racism is always going to exist. There's no way to stop this. It's just very unfortunate that this young kid had to be targeted by these assholes. And I've had debates, people on my Facebook feed that are friends, some who have never really truly experienced racism, not having been touched by it to the deepest core. So, when you hear shit such as, well, don't you want racism to stop? It's never going to stop. There's always going to be one group that thinks they're better than the others or more superior than the other. That's how racism will always live on. And I've always said that myself as a black man, I have to teach my kids, all three of whom are biracial, I've got to teach them that the disadvantage is because they have black blood and because people are going to look at them for their, their complexion, and they're going to be not viewed. Uh, they are light complexion, but they're going to be viewed as black. Thus, they're going to be targeted just like someone of darker complexion. If you see my kids and you see myself, you would understand because uh, I'm much darker than my kids. But racism will never die. You cannot talk about it, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist in the shadows. It's always wanting to creep its head up. And we have shit like this happening. The sad part is people will try to continue to let this live. Now, I was just um, on Facebook and I've heard some additional fuckery from this gentleman. He was fired from his job because of these comments. He did nothing to try to prevent his friends from making these derogatory comments. He even chimed in by saying that the little kid is feral, which, you know, is pretty fucked up. This young kid did absolutely nothing to deserve that absolutely nothing. But when I was looking at a couple of different news articles, 
he had an interview where he tried to play the victim. So I'm just going to play this little snippet. I just really feel upset, not only with myself, um, but also with the character that was based off of the comments that my friends made. Um, I feel as if not only poor Caden himself has been victimized, but also myself for being targeted. I just really feel... So you hear the fuckery there. This motherfucker has the nerves to say that he's been targeted, yet he's the one that posted the picture of this young child on Facebook without his mother's permission. He didn't stand up for this young child by saying, hey, he's actually a good kid. Uh, so I wouldn't I would appreciate if you guys didn't make these kind of comments towards this young man. But then he's got the audacity to say that he's also the victim. This motherfucker needs to be bent over and shafted up the ass. That's the that's the simple fact of the matter. He deserves to get bitch slapped left and right. And it's a good thing that he got fired. Now, as I was uh, reading additional information uh, this young woman here, she worked at a uh, food facility, um, some sort of restaurant, but her management also caught wind of the comments here and she was fired from her job. Oh, and by the way, this motherfucker right here, I went and I actually start, sought him out on, uh, Facebook and he's, um, Middle Eastern Indian. Um, so, you know, he doesn't really have much to say at all, but he wants to try to make comments. So it's easy for someone to mistake him for um, whomever because of his ethnicity. And of course, this gentleman down here, he's a black guy. I went and saw his Facebook page. Um, he caught wind that his comment had been uh, discussed by like Russell Simmons or something like that. So there's going to be a whole bunch of people talking to him. Uh, but all the same, these are cowardly motherfuckers cowards for targeting this young man and the poor kid um, for those who never have to worry about explaining to their children the concept of racism and being targeted and discriminated against for those who don't know what it's like to have to explain to their kids um, feel fortunate for that but for those who uh, have an abundance of melanin I'll say if you've never experienced racism at some point in time in your life, you just might. And how are you going to explain that to your kids? Because that's a talk that uh, just like uh, having talk about sex, that's something that's very important. And it's extremely pertinent to the upbringing of your child, not to teach them to hate, but to teach them to understand that hate exists and people are going to hate them for who they are simply because they don't fit the quote unquote standard. Um, but that standard is established by others. Anyway, if you like this video, hope that you like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to hit me up on Facebook. Peace.